batteries that weigh a ton. With 9.6 volt pack. Hey everyone, it's been a while since I did something long form, but I just wanted to share a little mod with you. What if I told you that the Nerf rival Nemesis was just as good as the Percy's? Some of you would scoff, but you know what? The Nemesis had a hundred rounds right off the get-go. A really cool look, I always thought. Biggest problem with the Nemesis was power. It required six D batteries and it made it so heavy as well and expensive. And these big D batteries are usually a little lethargic. Performance with these would be in the mid eighties, high eighties. And you might say, well, hey, they did do that rechargeable pack. And that's true, they did. This was a really good step. I wish they'd go back to rechargeable packs like this, but this was still only 7.2 volt. It got a little bit of a boost, the biggest advantage is that it was rechargeable, but these were expensive. These were like $55 Canadian in my area and they're pretty hard to find now. And I just happen to have a whole bunch of Nemesis and Hera's. Is this the Hera? How shameful. I have a bunch of blasters that take these, but I only have like two or three of these. I gave one away. And I think I have two left. So what am I to do? I'll tell you what I'm to do. I made my own rechargeable battery pack, but I used a 9.6 volt, just like the old Percy's uses. And now this thing rocks. Just using a beat up Mega XL dart to hold it in place. I'm gonna do a guide at the end of this video. It's not that complicated though. I did a bunch of dremeling, attached some wires, an XT60, used the negative and pot, oh, Use the positive and negative contacts on the bottom so that I could make this a drop-in pack for any of the blasters that use them so I could get Percy's performance without even modding the blaster. I'm 100% positive that it's been done, but I felt pretty clever. On single shots, this thing is getting way better performance. And even for sustained fire, it's keeping up in the high 70s instead of dipping down to the 50s. Way better. The fire rate might still be a hair under the Percy's, but barely. This is now a really competitive blaster with it. Whereas before, when I first got this, I thought it looked amazing, but I'll be honest, I was a little bit disappointed with it. I had my Percy's before I had my Nemesis, so. There's a lot of room in that tray. I even tried this uh, 12 volt AA battery pack from my Dart Zone Pro Mark III. It gave me a little bit of a boost, but it didn't work as well as the 9.6 volt nickel metal hydride. That's because I didn't do anything else inside of the blaster. This works great. And really, I don't think your blaster is in a whole lot of danger using that 9.6 rechargeable. So check it out. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I'm pretty pleased with the results. I should also mention, I wouldn't have even had to change the connector that came on this 9.6 volt battery. Oh, this is actually out of the Terrascout drone, but the same type of thing. I could have left this and use this little adapter to XT60, or I mean, I could have actually made the plug match this in the battery tray, but I, I usually use XT60s for everything. I only mention this in case you're a little solder shy, but really it's not that bad. Pretty glad to have a use for the stack of these battery trays that I have over in the corner. I'm going to be hollowing a bunch of these out, so no need to buy this ever. Enjoy the mod guide and we'll talk to you soon. All right, so we want to remove all of this stuff, we don't need it. We're gonna dremel out a big space in our tray. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave this contact and this contact, because I want this to be an option that will slot right in without any modding. So we've pried up our tabs. Let's see if we can force these out a little bit. Need some pliers. Oh, I've certainly had these come out easier. All right, maybe it'll be a little bit easier <laughs> if we do some cuts in here. Dremel, always a handy tool. And I'm basically just trying to cut out this bit that is holding things in. It's still in there. Why are you so stubborn? <laughs> there we go. 
Wow, easy as that, huh? <laughs> We're gonna do that a few more times. All right, we have our two terminals that we're going to solder to and put an XT60 with lots of cord in this tray. I'm just gonna do a bit more cleaning up to this pack. All right, that will do. We now have a tray with so much room for something like a 9.6 volt battery. Picking up where we left off, we have our tray all hollowed out. It will now fit a 9.6 volt really well. So let's put in our XT60. I'm going to... <laughs> now, I've actually rewired this pack for XT60, but I have some adapters that I'll link to below that we're not going to have to do that. We could use... Just to be less soldering, we could use a 9.6 volt pack with the plug it comes with, with a little adapter. Either way, depending on your soldering comfort. I tend to switch everything to XT60 or XT30. I'm also going to make sure <laughs> that I am soldering the right part. We have the female connector that I'm going to wire up into this pack. I also generally use a 16 gauge wire. Some people use 14, like my buddy Brel. He uses 14 for everything, and I just find that not fun to work with. So even if it's not as good, <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I do. I use this because it's easier. Didn't say I was the best. Ever. Before we get started, we'll get some of our, we got our tip tinner. Soldering iron is all heated up. We have our solder. I can clear off all this gross plastic here. So we are going to trim off a little here and we'll trim off a little here. Don't really need a whole lot. We're gonna do negative first. Negative on your XT60 should always be marked. If it's not marked, the pointy end is what you want your negative to be. I'm almost out of flux. This is not how you use flux, but it's what I did. <laughs> Bad habits, whatever. It's fine. All right, so I put that in there. What I haven't done, I haven't put shrink on here. I bought a big old container of shrink, and that was, I tell you, the way to do it. Only thing about this big old pack of shrink is this, even if I stretch it, it's not quite big enough to get over the XT60, uh, just to make it look kind of nice and clean. So I will have to get some bigger stuff. Make sure you can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, that's... Not in there. There we go. Perfect. I'll solder the other lead and then we'll figure out how much wire we want. I want enough wire that when it's in the battery tray, I can kind of coil it around any which way I want. I would always rather have my wiring be too long <laughs> than too short. Looks pretty shiny and clean to me. Give those a light little tug. Make sure they are okay. And they are. Let's take our tray, our sample battery here. And so I'm probably going to connect on this side, we'll say. So I want this to... Oh, that's an important point. Uh, this is my positive here. You can see, cause this is where the positive end of the battery used to connect to. So positive, And this one is the, where the negative of the battery was. Is that, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so the negative, you can kind of see the little diagram there. The negative was here and the positive was here. So I'm, I'm going to say, let's leave lots of room. I have a big old pack of wire. I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> Where my snippers are. Ugh. Oh well, that's all right. These, I don't know, these are awful. Okay, they worked. So we'll do that. That will go onto there. And then for this one, just because I don't want 
I don't know. I want these to be somewhat even. I'm probably going to like hot glue this along the side here so it feels like the cord's coming out of one spot just for cleanliness. I'll do that to give plenty of room. All right. Let's do our negative first. And you know what we're going to do here before we get too far along and we forget? We're going to put some shrink over the uh, leads here. The wires. Because if we don't put shrink on now, we may never remember to. And that'll be so much cleaner. We will hit that with the heat gun after. So, make sure my iron it's nice and hot. Sometimes your soldering iron will cool down. Well, it will cool down if you're not using it. So you just need to make sure it's hot because you can't solder cold. Now, I want <laughs> I want that kind of in. I'm going to solder that in just like that. I'm going to kind of tuck that in between there so that there's a little physical connection. I got some flux on there. That's pretty good there now. Not my cleanest work, but it's fine. We will now bring this down by here and over to here. Put lots of flux on here. Really need to get some more flux and find my little, whoa, way too much, and find my little brushes. All right, that's gonna be hard to see but I am going to tin this lead here. There we go. Just so I have a nice point to solder to. That is certainly on there. Very good. A little bit of excess in the job I did, but I'm going to heat shrink those. I might hot glue that down just so honestly, just so it's not like flopping around. It is time for hot glue, the modder's friend. Uh, I did use the heat gun and shrink down those little bits. I didn't do that on camera. I'm sorry. I usually try to do everything on camera if I can, but that's not a very difficult bit. I'm going to put a whole bunch of hot glue on this just because I like to uh, cover up any bare bits. That's too much hot glue even for me. And we'll put a bunch of hot glue down here over this other bit. We'll let my copious amounts of glue dry and then we'll try this pack out. And now we can fit a 9.6 to give the Nemesis true power or we could even be kind of crazy <laughs> and use this eight battery tray from the Dart Zone Pro Mark III. Look at that. That'll fit in there just barely, but it'll fit. You'd have to snake the wires down underneath. We'll see how that works. By now, you've already seen the start of the video and you know how it works. This is the end. I'm not going to do some fancy outro. You've already seen it. If you have any questions on how to do this, leave it below. Thanks for watching.